Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana. Welcome to my beauty words. If you are a fan of project planning as well as beauty and uh, skincare and like makeup tutorials, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, share and like and comment. Of course, if you have something to say, please don't hesitate. Tell me what you want, you know, in that sense. And I actually have, you know, this series going on on my channel now. And this is the final installment. I call it now final installment because I um, try out now or I try to create makeup looks with my uh, wet and white eyeshadow palettes which I have currently in my project pen those eyeshadows you know so and I thought okay let's try to do that show you an easy application and sometimes I don't have a time to you know to really you know do an intricate look or whatsoever and I'm like you know what one eyeshadow one eyeliner and go out of the house like that you know so and I thought if you have the same color story at home, maybe you feel like, okay, I can use that look or I can recreate it. You know, that would be a homage that I would really appreciate. You know, well, thank you very much. But that's the purpose of, of these videos actually for, you know, to create eyeshadow looks and I also I can see now which colors work for me as well as I'm using other stuff from my collection, you know, and uh, I get, you know, I get use out of the whole collection, you know, not only of the team, you know, of the uh, products that I have in my uh, team project pan or, uh, you know, partners in cream and so on. It's more like, okay, I can try out things I can use up and, you know, using the, the eyeshadows, for example, now different eyeshadows, I have to reapply all the time, you know, diff again, eye primer and set it and so on. And this gives like, you know, uh, more incentive to do this kind of videos as well as I use up things, you know, intentionally and also just as a byproduct of creating these videos. So I'm happy about that. And we are, as I said, we are at the final video now or final, <laughs> uh, we reached the final destination with this eyeshadow palette. So this has, I have to count again, I'm stupid, but yeah. uh, we have now eight different eyeshadows in this uh, palette. It looks like a rainbow palette and the thing is now um, I noticed the quality is not good throughout the eyeshadow palettes let's say so some of them are very powdery some of them have kick up and or kickback or fallout as well as sometimes the saturation in the eyeshadow pen is so great or looks so good but when you apply it on your eyes you know it's it's just sheer it's just sheer you just you know the, uh, I mean the pigment is not there so what I will do is now I will try to use this one and as you saw in the previous videos I like to keep it simple you know as I said one eyeshadow one eyeliner and mascara and go out of the house like that so you know I think that's the easiest way of course I set my eyes I did a uh, transition color and so on but besides that that's it and um, I will also try to insert some stills like you know I will take pictures of the whole looks in with the DSLR camera in natural daylight so you can see how it really looks on my eyes because I have the light situation going on because the weather is not good here in the Netherlands it's gray and the ceiling light as well as the little ring light you know give a yellow t you know let's say yellow tone or whatsoever to my face and um, you won't see the real payoff let's say color payoff you know in in that sense but I will try to always come closer to to the camera so that you can see my eyes and so on and yeah let's get started so enough rambling i i set my eyes i did already the application of eye primer and let's get it started so if you can see i have still green eye uh, eyeliner on my eyes because i did a lot of you know pre-filming today so that's why i have so i'm 10 i'm really into the blue as well as the green so give me a second to think about it. What I will do is actually I will apply the green color. Now I will clean the brushes, you know. So I will use the green color on my eyelid, I think. So because it says eyelid color and then crease and the definer. But yeah, let's see how this kind of mint green will apply on my eyes. So. I'm also, what is it, using a handheld mirror from Glamcore. It has different light settings, so, you know, just to be sure what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay. 
Now you see, this is what the eyeshadow looks like. You know, you have to build it up. In some cases with these eyeshadows, you have to build them up because, you know, the color payoff, as I said, is not that good. So, okay. What you could do with this eyeshadow now is just apply brown eyeliner. I did that in a previous uh, video with uh, another green of one of the shades uh, of the... Um, of in another eyeshadow palette and that's it you know that's a simple look that you could do here with this one you know let's go along with the recommendation of wet and wild when it says here in the eyeshadow or the imprint says definer so i will just try to you know use the blue in the outer corner so i will just take for that one i will just take a pencil brush and take the blue so as you can see it looks very nice you know it looks really nice but have a, let's have a look oh yeah mm. <laughs> you see it kind of thins out it doesn't apply that evenly I mean of course you can say now you are using a pencil brush to apply it but you know the bigger the brush sometimes you know the application is not that uh, targeted enough in that area where I want to have it, where I want to place the eyeshadow. So, you know, start, let's say, in a small area and then just build it up. But again, I mean, take also a little bit bigger brush okay I will do that one but let's see um, let me try to take this one you know it's a flat shader brush so I just have the yeah you see on my mirror I have already you know kicked back so. And then I take another brush just for blending, you know, just to blend the two colors or the blue here. But you see here, the blue is almost gone. So the problem with these, you know, eyeshadows, either you use them individually on your eyelid, just as one eyeshadow, one eye look, so to say, or you try to build them up but you know they don't stay they don't you know because you move them with you know by blending them so that's a pity with these you know eyeshadows actually so what I will do is just I will just then just use it on my you know last line here on the lower again it's You see, I try to make a wing situation here so that it looks like, you know, the eyeshadow is actually the wing. So, and then try to blend it. You know, I'm blending it so far away, but you know, again, here this one, this color is not affected by, you know, by this color because this one fades immediately away. So um, I will go in again with the green color just to add. Add it back on my eyelids. So this is a very muted look, you know, it's not a vibrant, you know, like, you know, the colors are not that strong as if they, you know, as if they look in the, uh, in the eyeshadow pen. So again, it, it is what it is. What I will do is now with this eyeshadow look or eye look, I will just apply, you know, black liquid liner. Let's see. So this is from, uh, Maybelline matte uh, charcoal black so oh 
okay I could also use you know here actually the blue one but I'm a little bit tired of the blue so And as you can see, I applied the eyeliner very thickly, uh, very thick, um, because, you know, first of all, the f eye, what is it, my eyelid folds, you know, differently, as you can see. So there is like a little bit sagging or hooded eyeline, um, uh, hooded eye situation going on. So, but also eyes, you know, you can still see enough of my eyelid so that you can see what kind of eyeshadow I have applied. And I will clean up you know, um, this eyeshadow situation or the edge situation by using my, you know, foundation brush. So, you know, it's not a nice look actually, you know, it is not, but again, this is, you know, what I would do. If I would have only this eyeshadow palette, I would just try always use one eyeshadow and then just, you know, make a wing li liner or just apply liner around your eyes, you know, because again, if you have this eye shape like I do, you know, you can just make a, apply the eyeliner around your eyes and that's it, you know, in the waterline and that's it. So, of course, now you can go ahead with applying mascara and so on and then you are done. So I am done as well with this video. I hope you liked it. If not, please leave a comment. Why not? Or, you know, give me a, a hint what I should change. Um, this was the final installment. As you see, this was very quickly done. Um, again, I'm not a very patient person or I, you know, I don't do 10 hours of eyeshadow blending, uh, especially with this kind of, you know, quality of eyeshadow. Uh, it's not worth it to blend it because as you saw, the blue fades away or bl blends away and so on. So. I, if I know that kind of result is going to happen, I'm not going to waste time. So, but again, if you have this uh, color story and you want to you know how to use it or, you know, you needed some inspiration, thank you very much for watching. Um, I see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.